In the 90s, I was doing actual clinical work and saw that my patients were enamored with games. They were, uh, these were folks with brain injuries that were very hard to motivate in traditional methods. And I would see them playing with Game Boys or um, you know, playing on Nintendo 64, these kinds of things, and focused and engaged. And it kind of hit me at the time that perhaps a way for clinical practice to move is to leverage new technology, use games to motivate people, to attract them to therapy in a way that they might not ordinarily do for traditional talk therapy. So in 95, um, I left clinical work and came to USC and began trying to create a lab that focused on using new technology like virtual reality um, for clinical purposes. And since that time, we've developed applications that address cognitive issues, kids with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Uh, we're currently doing a study with Alzheimer's patients um, as well, working in physical therapy, developing game-based interaction devices so people can do physical therapy while embedded or immersed in a game, make it fun and engaging. Um, the work with PTSD that we're doing uh, using a simulation of a rack as part of the exposure therapy approach. So. Um, over the years, the, the lab has grown and evolved so that we can address the core elements of functioning for humans, cognitive, psychological, emotional, and physical. So then what was the process by which you uh, sold this to the military? It was a hard sell. It was a hard sell uh, initially to get the military to buy into this. Um, originally, we came up with the idea at the end of 2003 and built a prototype off a, a common game that was available on the Xbox and applied for funding and was basically told, we're probably not gonna need this, mission accomplished. Um, but then around uh, July of 2000,